revolution will not be televised. The revolution is now. Appreciate that you get to see it and witness it because 10 years from now, there's going to be people who you are sitting with right now, just like Ray and I. Keisha Cole recorded her first song in my room in El Cerrito when she was 13, and I was fighting, telling Interscope, this young woman is no joke. Oh, she's too young. She's not ready. Now where is she signed? What's up? This is Layla Steinberg, and we are Pushing the Bay. And I have to tell you, I'm from L.A., but it's the Bay that put me on the map. 20 years later, I'm back in L.A., and the movement continues. And we are in a very historical studio in L.A. doing the microphone sessions and developing curriculum and movement. I'd like to introduce you to the artist that I work with today. It's really a blessing all these years later to be on the road campaigning with some amazing, amazing gifted voices. Yo, it's Insanity representing I and I, kicking it with MCT and Ray Love, pushing the Bay TV. Check it out. Adrenaline be rushing, deadly percussion, old school like Teddy Ruxpin, already crushing the white rapper cliche. Who got the rugged sound? I and I, lyrical resident of the underground. You feel the chill coming we'll make it feel something we're bringing nothing but the good like it's will hunting let's get it crack in orange county attack in the spotlight the verbal hard like a knock life pushing the bay tv what's up my name is brahim and i'm with mct and ray love push the bay it's all about push the bay tv what it is what are we gang bang slang kang like managing bitches saying niggas in the leg keep handling business that's it that's all we do so we know all of our broken dreams ain't coming true so we do what we gotta do to survive that's why i'ma do what i do till i die into the bay that's for everybody what's happening it's past justice and i'm pushing the bay with my folks check it out Obama don't know drama like you and your mama Hillary ain't real to me And McCain don't appeal to the streets Before you vote for one of them, my nigga, vote for me Quote the speech to the Pope and priest I don't want no beat <laughs> Again, my name is Past Justice And I like to consider myself an artivist Meaning I uh, mesh my art with my activism Basically using my art to create social change around the world um, Mic sessions and, and, and what Layla mean to me is almost the most important thing in my life right now. I wouldn't have made a record, decided to do poetry and rap if it wasn't for mic sessions and working with Layla Steinberg. It's a unique space in that it gives anybody and everybody a chance to, to use their voice to be heard. For me, I had a lot of that stuff bottled in and I would act out, you know, by breaking the law and um, being a menace to society, so to say. Realizing that an uh, artist is, is one of the most powerful people in the world, Layla helped me realize my voice. And um, I'm from South Central Los Angeles, the gangbang capital. And I learned that by being an artist, I didn't have to follow in footsteps and I could kind of break the generational curse that's on my family and my people. I and I, insanity. I just wanted to share what Layla means to me in this class, mic sessions. It's like a place to go to every single week that I just know I can find other people that are on the same tip, everybody trying to make a change and I can just relate to almost every single body in the room and everybody's so talented and it's like a place where you can go you're not afraid to say what you feel because that's what's respected in the room as opposed to trying to be something else and it's like it's just one of the only places I really feel like I can go and just be myself and share my music and hear music from other people that I like to hear and just uh, be a part of a family, you know what I'm saying? My name's Brahim and I met Layla when I was like 19. I was on some other shit, um, as they say. I've grown up a lot since then and I would say my session has a lot to do with that. And for me, probably the biggest thing besides going to actually work with the kids inside juvenile halls, group homes, high schools, all types of stuff, and actually being there out in the community, showing the kids that we got love for them. The actual mic sessions itself is a place for me. I'm in a very emotional, vulnerable person. The reason why I like to be vulnerable is to get, basically help other people that want to be, but are afraid to be. And so, you know, I just appreciate that opportunity. Thank you. It's a real opportunity to watch the growth of such genius. <laughs> <laughs>